but that we have heard so much about. My word, the pentakill at the end there for Bin really just sums up this series. It's just been nothing but skirmish after skirmish. That final team fight was just, just great patient play. Like the use of the Syndra ultimate to then set up for the stun, the Fiora diving onto the back line. Like, Darmont had no answers. We were excited to see this Lucian and Evelyn combo, and in the early game they found a couple picks, but they weren't actually able to snowball off the back of it. They weren't able to make those fights work, and the Rengar answer to be able to match on side lane, like... exceptional! <laughs> SRFM's brain is too big for us mortals to comprehend! Style of me. I'm trying to remember what Lyric said during Countdown. Was that Sooning were the... The B-sides, the alternative second record, when you look at them in the LPL, when you see a Rengar Fiora, <laughs> if that isn't the definition of an experimental second record, and to bust it out in game two of the finals, I mean, that is incredible. Uh, look, Sooning's Mercedes drive to victory, it was the Cloud Soul fight, and I'm hoping that this will be that two versus three. But you could pick any of the skirmishes, any of the fights throughout this game, because it was literally bonkers. So in this situation, Dom won't know the barrel is on his way. But the problem is, it's an AD carry plus a tank Rengar. So there's just more damage as long as Huan Feng positions well. Canyon gets a little too close to Huan Feng, and then the smite comes down from SOFM. And then notice flash in, immediate execute, and now they know, oh, well, actually, we now have the damage advantage. And just great use of the bushes from SOFM to just keep tanking up the damage. The constant spam of the W to keep his health high. Just really well played. Really, really well done. And I think when you consider the intensity of these skirmishes and just how many moving pieces there are and how non-traditional they sort of are, it was great to see Suni execute very well, bounce back. That evens out our series at one-to-one. -one. I mean, so it's funny because I was like, Dandy's Rengar back in the day was obviously very iconic. And like he even has a world skin for his Rengar, right? And like that's the last time we saw like one of those world class Rengars. And now to get to see it from yes. SOFM. Yes. It's just like, especially in the legacy of Dandy's fantastic jungle years. So like it's so it's really cool. It's it really, really absolutely cool. Absolutely is. This is League of Legends, and as we go to a break, there's something special we'd like to share for those of you who've always wanted to dive into the lore of Rune Terror from Riot Forge.